okay guys welcome back to iksoft original and this is the sixth part of this series which is um our video editing software in visual studio um, by using visual basic and this is a free course which we are teaching you guys okay so the last time we saw how we can play along with a um, you know the source we saw how it works and it was marvelously working fine and that was very awesome let's say that was very fantastic now today we're going to see how we can work with the effects and that is very very important and um, we would like to be working on that and I have added um, you know my needed things my buttons and then my parameters and then my effect name let's say the effect drop down and um you know the start the index clip start stop everything is being added my buttons are being added my visible are being added everything is added so let's hop into the video and let's see how we can work along with that so let's go to the effects effect tab i added um some labels and then i gave them a name according to how we did the previous one and this one i added a track index and then um i added a text field or let's say a text box and then i gave it a name txt effects track index yes and then the clip index and then i added txt effects clip index and then i added txt effect starts and then i added txt effect stop sorry and then i added cmb effect name cmbo effect name which is combo box effect name and then um i added parameter which is txt effect parameter yes and then i added um you know a checkbox chk effect visible right and then i added button so um this can be btn add effect so let's say sorry let's say this is gonna be btn add effects good and then this is going to be um you know btn btn change effects good and then this is going to be btn remove effect right so btn remove effect good okay so the last time i think the source we didn't um give them a name so this is gonna be btn btn add video and then um this is gonna be um btn change video and then this is gonna be btn remove video right so btn um remove video good and um save it then let's get back to the effects now that is how probably that is how i did it so when you start the system this is how the system looks like when you go to the effects tab this is how it looks like already i copied this buttons and then pasted it here that is the reason why it is affecting by the um, anchor points so don't worry with that now when i just um you know squeeze it down or let's say when I just turn it to normal state, this is how uh, probably it looks like, and I'm I'm happy with it. So when I maximize it now, you see that it's not um, you know responding. So let's make it responsive, right? So I will select these two, and then I will select the anchor point, and then I'll choose right, and then remove left, and I will select the effect name, and then I will add only right, and then I will select this and i will add right and yes i believe i'm done so let's start it once once more and then go to the effect section and you can see that the effect is very very fantastic and the effect section is working absolutely absolutely fine good now um you can set a start where should they start maybe if you start from 0 0.6 0 0.600 and it should end at um you know 5.00 and you can choose the effect from the parameters which we will be dealing with that later on and you can click on add effect and then it's gonna add 
to that particular uh you know video effect you are talking about we will be working on it a lot a lot a lot so we from um on our next lesson we, we will see how we can work on the transition but let's try to you know um work a little bit along with um our interface good what else what else what else we will be working on this as a separate lessons so let's see um how we can work along with the um i believe let's see how we can work along with the um mm, okay we will save the project we will open the project and then we will you know do all the resolution stuff and everything is gonna be fantastic right so let's see um let's work with the trial version stuff so uh we will say that um according to the software um let's go to the form load event and then we will just remove the trial we will just clear everything like this from there and i believe that is the main um reason why it was misbehaving so let's enter the code let's say isaac for the name um isaac and then let's set um you know the codes according to what we did register okay so i think um we will add a timer for that then um we will be working along with that but let's try to work with that so that everything will be perfect now um let's add um i think you saw that we added about screen here we can add about screen from the other um you know form by going to project add new windows form and then we can go to about box and we can work on that but i would like for us to uh you know work along with our own about right so um frm about so let's see something this is going to be our about form and as usual i will add my theme b to that and it is very very fantastic for me okay so that is it and i would like to add a picture box a picture box um right here and um that is going to display um, you know some image or let's say um, anything related to the um, software which we will be dealing with it later on so let's leave that that interface for now because we've yet not added any um, any uh, let's say graphics or let's say icon or that we will go to Photoshop and then deal with all those stuff so that um, this video is going to be fantastic so let's add a group box which will be very very interesting so I'm just adding a normal group box and for the group box I'll just set the back color to um, I'll just set the back color the four color to white and and i'll just um you know clear all the tests from there then i add the back color to be transparent and that is awesome good so this theme let's change the um text to let's say about right so um this is about is um quite interesting and um you can decide to work along anyhow you wish to you know play along with your uh with whatever you want to do according to uh, you know the software you are being creating right so let's add a close button to that good and let's drag and drop that close um to our system here which will close this particular form for us so let's add some labels let's say label um let's say um this label is gonna be my computer name let's say computer name good and i would like to say that copy paste and I like to say that operating system um, operating system 
and I would like to add um, system version let's say system version say system version right so that is awesome and I would like to say that I will add something like um, let's say system version and then we will say that um, say that OS version right so we say version good let's add that one here and I like to cut everything then I add a group box another group box and this one I will just clear all the test and I will just uh, you know position this like that and then I paste it here so I'll just position this here and I'll just copy the same thing and paste it one more time and then I will just place each and everyone in front of um, anyone yes so I will just say that this will be um, let me say that computer name and then I'll say that operating system operating um, system and then there's gonna be the system version right so we will say that system version and this is gonna be the OS version so I'll just remove the last one good and for this one I would like to add a panel for now so that I will be using for um, you know designing my form so for this panel I like to choose the back color to be white um, I like to choose this color instead so um, let me choose this back color so that um, you know I can get everything suppressed okay so this color then I just paste it so um, good evening Hey, see, I'm in town. Can you? May you? Mama, me had me had this. Me nyoma no swa ya mau. Still na. Yeah, just say. But she na kujio do kaka. Na, all the people niyanga just wa to machine. You can see me. Mama, I'm scared kaka. Me nyam fadia kani man. But yeah, niyachi kaka kwenzi no. Davey was it? Enya no buy. You can come wasi. I'm come wasi. My ni. Okay, so sorry for that. Um, that was a guy owing me, and um, he decided not to, you know, pay. But all the same, it's good to know. Yeah. Okay, so as I said earlier on, I just um, added a panel to divide um, the system for you to see um, actually what I'm doing. Yes. So I would like to leave it like this, and I will just. Um, copy that and paste it again I just copied the whole thing and then paste it paste it again so that will be this is gonna be um, you know the um, username yes so let's say um, license send uh, am I okay let's say registered registered to then we add this so the product is being registered to and then we will say that um, let's say software software version so that will be the version of the software and then this is gonna be um, let's say that um, update status So if update is available, it's just gonna prompt the person 
um, that update is ab available yes and then we will say that um, um, let's say registration status regis okay registration status okay so that is gonna be um, okay so that's how um, is is gonna be right so let's highlight everything let's position it somewhere here and we will say that this is not gonna be the computer name but we will say this is gonna be the username right good and then this is gonna be the software version right so we're gonna say that software um, version good and then this is gonna be um, update status maybe available let's say available um, then let's say this is gonna be the registration status of the OS let's say maybe not um, registered good let's save everything and then um, you know let's go to we will be working on the picture box later on so let's go back to the form and then let's double click on the about and then we will see that frm about dot show right dot show then we will say that frm about dot focus then we will say that um frm we will say that uh, me dot focus equals to um false so that it will um stay on the you know on that particular um oh come on i think um let's say that's frm one dot focus i think oh come on i think it's me dot focus so why i'm getting this error and this is set Let's say set me. Me dot focus. Okay. All right. We will deal with that later. <laughs> Don't worry. We will be dealing with that later on. So let's see how it looks like. So let's go to the registration and then let's see the about. Now you will see that. Um, hmm, okay. Oh, okay. So um, need to pass here. As soon as it just uh, you know hover on this it just focus on that so we will try to you know disable the active 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 activeness of this um, you know system until you close this we will be working on that so it's going to display your system name on our next lesson it's going to display your computer name your system version your um, you know operating system version and then your OS right your registered your registration name software version update status and then um the registered status or let's say the registration status they are all gonna you know work on that uh, yes and it is gonna be uh, you know fantastic it's gonna be fantastic okay so guys uh, i believe we will be ending here for this particular lesson and don't forget to subscribe to iksoft originals channel if you have yet not subscribed to my channel so on our next lesson we're gonna add the transition section and then we deal with a um you know with a about so that um, we add this computer name the operating system the system version and then the os version right then we work along with a registration name and then um you know the software version and then the update status and then the registration status so guys my name still remains ike software original and this is my official channel subscribe and leave any comment below the section and if you want the, the full source code of this project just let me know in the link in the description below if you don't understand anything just hit me up in the link in the description below and i will be very much appreciated to give you any answer to this particular project until we meet again have a nice day and ike soft original boom is out